on April the 20th, 2017, I visited the American University of Armenia, the AUA, with benefactor Harry Tufayan. We were warmly welcomed by Vice President Ashod Razarian, who gave us a tour of the 25-year-old institution. As we all know, AUA opened its doors on the same day Armenia declared its independence, September the 21st, 1991. Walking through the building on Bagramian Avenue, observing the students in class, in corridors, in cafeteria, in labs, this truly was a very enlightening experience. I mean, right now we have over uh, close to 3,000 graduates. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, follow, we're following all the details. 70% of our graduates are in Armenia. We have a lot of students who went for their PhDs and now they're back and teaching here in our university. This is one of the most successful things that we established because we have now sustainable, we're trying working out sustainable faculty so that we can, they can come back and teach in our uh, mother. Meeting the present president the, of the AUA, the present president uh, since 2015, Dr. Armender Gurelian, was a very equally unique experience. And sitting in his office and discussing the advances AUA has made over the past 25 years, growing in student population, beginning with 100 students in 1991, to over 3,000 students at present, was enlightening and welcomed information. We also were informed of building expansions to meet the needs of new programs. Obviously, the financial challenges, the endowment funds, were of great concern to the administration of the university. The inception of the AUA began after the Armenian earthquake in 1988, but it was through the generosity of Luis Simo Manugian, the AGBU, and the participation of the University of California that the dream of an American university in Armenia turned to reality. Today, the AUA, along with the Yerevan State University, is one of the top universities in Armenia. In fact, it is the only U.S. accredited institution in the former Soviet Union offering undergraduate and graduate education in business, public health, social sciences, engineering, and more. Yes, all our courses are accredited by Western Association of Schools and Colleges, which is in Western United States. Uh, and uh, when they go back, they can request to transfer the credits and, of course, they have to be careful that this course has to fit into their programs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, if they have all completed their general education requirements, then they have to make sure that it fits into their program. Walking down the corridors of this noble educational institution, one clearly follows the names of diaspora Armenians who have generously contributed and uh, continue contributing towards the advancement of AUA. Paramaz Abedisian Building, Varkes and Asmik Barsamian Building, AGB Papazian Library, and many, many more. And the list keeps growing as the wall listing the 100 pillars of AUA keep growing. As the university grows, there are challenges that need to be overcome, and of great concern is raising money for scholarships so that to allow as many deserving students to attend the university. One of the more creative ideas coming up is the encouraging of diaspora Armenians, the youth, especially college students, to spend their summer or study abroad programs in Armenia. And we spoke about that with Dr. Dergirian in hopes of attracting more young people and he assured us that all the courses are accredited courses and most, if not all, universities will accept these courses to be transferred. This program of transferring and summer studying in Armenia was of great concern and of interest to Mr. Harry Tufayan, whose eldest grandson, Alex Nargisian, recently graduated high school and may want to study abroad, may want to continue in taking some courses in Armenia thus connecting with Armenia, the homeland.